Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars episode number 5. Uh, oh, season 2. <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyways, so yeah, in the previous episode we uh, got a few things. Mm, the first thing was like with uh, the mm, Ligoshi. He went to Gohin's place to ask for help <clears throat> so that like he can train him I'm guessing and like uh, you know like uh, make him tougher stronger and that and uh, also like uh, the whole thing with Lewis kind of <clears throat> raiding this club and like helping one of the employees and then like there was this whole section about how Legoshi was kind of faking eating the meat uh, eating the like herbivore meat and like him <clears throat> not being able to eat properly and like uh the like one of the lions with the spectacles uh he like noticed that and like brought him food but lewis as always he is too prideful so he did not like even touch it which i'm not sure how long he'll be able to pull off because obviously he is like like losing strength and uh, like in the end like we see like uh, juno coming in which i'm not sure like why she is here um yeah let's just see what like the actual thing is like why did suddenly juno like come to Luis's place so yeah guys and without further ado let's get started with pista season 2 episode number 5 all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Mm, excuse me. Okay, so um, now, like, I'm not sure what, like, Gohin usually does not want to, like, uh, like, as he said, like, he's an upstanding adult, and he doesn't want, like, Ligoshi to skip school, and <laughs> do, like, all of those stuffs that, you know, delinquents do, so, <laughs> but Ligoshi, like, needs this, like, you know, like, he is too soft-hearted, and uh, kind of, yeah soft-hearted and like too much like kind to a fault so i'm guessing like he needs to like gain that strength gain that power so that even while he keeps his like original um personality he can stand up to uh like you know stronger foes <clears throat> white is still white in monochrome oh wow that's a uh, quite a unique uh like name, like title. Oh, this is Juno. <clears throat> Wait, is that why you came here? Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, she knows her, like. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, how did she like, oh, but like everyone knows or not? Oh, let's see. <clears throat> he was talking about himself, you know. <clears throat> hmm. 
yeah this kind of like made him realize that he could not stop the like simple like kidnapping of a you know of someone from the school so how is he even going to like stand up like i, I think like ligoshi is kind of the like you know reason why he realized this <clears throat> well, I I doubt he even wants to go. Like, mm, yeah. <clears throat> like he was like a showpiece, you know, of the school. But now he like he has like taken it in his hands. <laughs> oh boy. Not completely. <laughs> yeah, he kind of like got like got a like a new way to start his life <laughs> oh boy hmm <clears throat> you know i'm thinking one thing like uh, leo louis had this kind of uh you know complex about like herbivore and carnivores did not like carnivores because of that but living with them can change him you know he can change he will change i'm guessing oh boy come on oh Oh, this guy, guy is pretty royal, uh, loyal. Wait, what's happening here? What the? What's happening? <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Clubs Ace. The animation has really like, clearly like improved. Mm -hmm. A society that chooses how you live. Um, that's a little difficult for Louis, I think. You know. <sighs> okay. He's gone for training. 
is going to come a change change wolf <clears throat> oh is this the goshi <laughs> um or is it someone else oh he's back What happened? Yeah, well, yeah, what happened? Like, what did Gohin do to him? You know? He kind of strapped him to that chair? Um, come on, show your face! Like... <laughs> Zack was all like, no, he has gone to do his own thing. He has changed. And then Legoshi comes back. What is this? <laughs> what the hell? He looks like a... I, I don't know what to... Oh no, he looks weird. What the hell? Um... Yeah, he looks like a, like, you know, dog. Yeah, obviously Gohin won't let him, like, you know, skip school. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he looks a lot harmless. You know, uh, I'm guessing this can like make him closer to the Harpy Force. He looks, you know. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> oh boy. Oh great. <laughs> like, I was not expecting that. What the hell? Bat Pirano. <clears throat> oh, what's happening? What the hell? Oh, is this is this some kind of training that Legoshi is going through? His instinct, I'm guessing, controlling his instincts. Damn the nail scratches. Damn. Three days. Yeah, I knew it. Like, you know, controlling his instincts. Yeah, like, you know, he, he's doing the sending training of Naruto. <laughs> like controlling your, uh, what do you call it? Oh, 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 the smell. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, and I think he, maybe he's also like starving, you know? Maybe like, he had to do this training while starving. Yeah, strong without meat. <clears throat> hmm. 
<laughs> wow. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Let's see. Damn, Nikoshi. <laughs> yeah, he has to go to school then after this. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> Running. <laughs> Yeah, but he doesn't want that. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, like doping. Okay. Hmm. Um what's what's happened to us? Did someone slap him or something? It's quite rude, so <laughs> um no he has bags under his eyes as well wait <laughs> what the hell is this man What? Some female slapped him or something? Wow. Mm, he doesn't want to talk about it. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Calm down. Like, you know, you're you're training now. Like uh, no other worldly thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Instinct driven. What? <clears throat> well. Um. That's kind of selfish, you know, like only doing something for myself. Oh, he, okay. Oh, he also expects others to do that. So, okay, so that's not selfish. Yeah, like he does it himself and he expects others to do it as well. So, okay, so in that way, that is not selfish. All right. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Hmm. 
Um, no, he's training now. He has instincts under control. What? <laughs> Immense hatred. <laughs> Zen wolf. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go and eat some like vegetable soup, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's funny, like, Louis is, like, eating, trying to eat meat and <laughs> negotiating with like, vegetables. Withdrawal, yep. Time has a final come. <clears throat> Damn, his horns are pretty good, you know? Gog of your business. Seven million. Hmm. I don't I think his you know dad like doesn't really think like this like I think Luis has some kind of a misunderstanding with him like about him yeah he respected him extremely I don't know, let's just like... Um... Louis, no need to be so forceful, you know? I doubt his dad is going to like... Sign it because of the gun. Like he he will sign it. I I I think so at least. But not because of the gun. Because he wants to, or whatever. Like now, okay, that's the end. All right. So you know, I've already always thought about this. Um, Lewis has some like you know, kind of a misunderstanding about a lot of things, which like I kind of don't blame him for because his like childhood is a bit messed up. Uh, the whole thing with like you know uh, being as uh, a merchandise and like just there for people to like <clears throat> buy him and eat him that was like his future but he was like picked up by this person uh, who did not have like you know a hair uh, for um, uh, the future and because of that like uh, he bust like he bought him or something like that so that he could be like a success him uh, be a successor for him but <clears throat> like due to that like how how he was like brought up in the like during his childhood and like as he said in this episode that uh like we barely even saw each other and you like you just like we just like met once or twice so he doesn't have any like uh favorable uh thought about his like dad but he respected him in a way he wanted to be strong uh like to be uh, like grow up as strong as him all right that's the end uh, but that was just like respect nothing else but i know i think at least that maybe uh the person who bought him that is his dad who is like <clears throat> his dad uh i don't know this is just a guess i might be wrong uh like he might not be as you know as he is like presenting himself to be maybe he really is 
like the, like wants the best for Lewis and like not only looking at him as uh, you know a uh, successor just as a successor he really thinks of him as a child so at least i think that is like like that's how he like looks at him but Lewis obviously does not know that and or doesn't even have a clue about that he only thinks that yeah he is just a person who got me just so that i could uh, like become his successor because he himself doesn't have any child who can uh, like succeed him so uh, yeah like he thinks like the uh, like the relationship between him and his dad is just you know business like so that's why he also said that uh, the investment that you did was a failure so i don't know i just think that maybe his dad is really not like that maybe his dad really like uh, like loves him as a, as his own child and uh, this is just a misunderstanding whole misunderstanding on luis's part because obviously people are like you know uh, some people are awkward they are unable to show their uh, affection to others especially uh, to the children or who are like close to them so there are people like that so that's not their fault they are unable to like show the affection that's just you know their personality so i don't know i'm just like you know just guessing like who knows maybe his dad is like that and we'll probably get to know that later on right um that and okay so this episode uh, this was uh the beginning of the episode was the whole thing with juno so juno came here uh, just so that she can like uh convince luis to come back but unfortunately luis is you know determined to do what he thinks is best and he's doing it so <clears throat> now <laughs> like uh, i don't know like like as like Louis said that uh, Juno really you know went out of her way to go and find out about Louis and like track him here and <laughs> like um, I don't know like I, I I'm getting a feeling that she, he like she, like she probably has a crush on him I don't know you know Louis as he like as he like as she was like uh, kind of monologuing in his head in her head that uh what was she saying uh, yeah you even look more graceful than you did before like uh like i'm sure like the thing that he felt for him before was fascination uh because him being a hard before was able to be so strong and so <clears throat> you know uh respectable in front of others so that was just like you know a fascination and everything but clearly that was the reason behind that was like she at that time liked um uh, Ligoshi but unfortunately Ligoshi after kind of you know uh, rejecting her uh, she like she is slowly shifting uh, and like obviously this is something that is natural like now he is like she is realizing her feelings for Louis or something like that or like the you know the um, amount of admir admiration admiration that she like felt for Louis is kind of changing uh, changing into a more personal thing so that happens you know like uh, like not all like not all uh, like love starts with you know uh, one what what do you call it um, uh, uh love at first sight yeah like not everything starts like that like uh, there's like uh, the whole a lot of ways it can start you know like you feel uh like respect towards someone or you feel uh, fascinated by someone that kind of changes like uh, it like starts with an infatuation and then it like, gradually changes into the real thing so <clears throat> like this is like i'm guessing what's happening here and I'm not sure i might be wrong like because uh like i think she's in a complicated place now like in this episode he, he was kind of you know uh admiring uh lewis uh for his like um like uh well, for how he is and everything and then in the later portion we kind of see her you know fangirling over legoshi <laughs> after he changed his like uh, style and everything so i'm guessing she is you know in a complicated like position now but obviously like this will uh surely change in some way and ligoshi like she cannot like go for ligoshi now because obviously she knows everyone knows that like he has haru 
So I'm guessing this, like, um, the reason, like, because of the reason that she cannot go there, she will probably, like, uh, deflect and, uh, like, like, start to, like, you know, like, uh, Lewis more. And then that will, like, proceed in that direction. The love will proceed in that direction. And it will, like, get more serious and everything. So I'm just guessing, like, the way she kind of behaved in this episode kind of, like, indicates towards that. And the way he, yeah, way she, you know, like went out of her way to like, <clears throat> like look for Louis and everything, and came to this place, uh, like just on a uh, like grasping at straws and like just for the chance to uh, like find him, find Louis. So that kind of indicates that. So, anyways, I might be wrong. Like, but I don't think I'm wrong. Like, I think it will like go in that direction. Like, it's kind of you know uh like like it can be seen like uh like it's quite ap apparent that it is going to like go in that direction so anyways um yeah that was the whole thing with uh luis and um, uh, juno and then uh like uh, then comes the lions now obviously like they are like uh obeying the orders from uh luis now but they still has this you know uh <clears throat> hidden desire of as the other lion said that so when are we going to like uh like eat him <laughs> you know like just casually like that and but uh, the guy with the glasses uh, i'm always saying kind the lion with the glasses um he uh he seemed pretty loyal to uh like, uh, like lewis like he kind of uh, like got angry at him and said that no he's our boss and you won't ever say that thing again so i'm guessing like he is the you know only person who uh wants the best for uh, lewis and <clears throat> yeah and then there was this like whole dance section and <laughs> juno and uh, uh lewis dancing and then like juno kind of saying baka i don't like i don't care do whatever the hell you want and then left <laughs> oh, oh boy and then we <laughs> Like then like in the next like scene Zach like is like you know like standing in front of the window looking outside and saying that I think that um like, you know like Louis uh, Ligoshi won't come back he has like he has changed he is like different now he has like uh, made his uh, like determine he has got his determination conviction that uh, like he is uh, going to grow stronger from now on and he was like monologuing and giving this whole like you know epic kind of thing and then suddenly. <laughs> Ligoshi <laughs> enters the room and <laughs> looking like uh, you know uh, like everything like all hair cut and everything and I have to say like I don't know what to like uh, feel about the new look you know he looked a lot better before but now he just looks like uh, kind of weird uh, 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 like I don't know if this like look will you know like I'll get accustomed to it but i really liked uh, the previous look uh, like with the like long hair and like a bluish kind of shade so and now he looks like a like a dog like um like he yeah he, he just looks like that like if his like you know nose was a little smaller he would have looked like a dog just like a dog uh, obviously because he's a wolf his snout is a bit longer and <clears throat> yeah and but like a lot of people likes it, uh, like a lot of animals, you know, especially the herbivores, uh, and <laughs> Juno also likes it, the kind of fangirling over him and everything. So yeah, okay, so um, okay, and then like we get this whole section of like uh, Legoshi kind of uh, suppressing his instincts, which he definitely needs to do so that he can protect the Harvey force and also like uh, like go in front of Haru and like also protect her in case anything happens which is like the main motivation and <clears throat> like um, I don't know like uh, like I was thinking like uh, like uh, maybe like he doesn't need to do this you know uh, like he can just like control himself he can control he has like controlled himself for all these years so why does he need to do this now but then i kind of thought that no this is necessary you know because uh like even if he eats meat after this like i'm like 
like it's not, it's not the case that he has like gone full vegetarian that's not the case i'm guessing uh, i'm guessing this is just uh, he's doing this because he wants to overcome it you know overcome that instinct so like he needs to overcome that uh, like hunger the lust for meat and lust for you know uh, like uh, harvey like uh, flesh kind of things so he needs to overcome that so after he overcomes it he might consume meat after that like uh, it will be more like uh, you know om omnivores like uh, like humans like people like us for example if we like give like a uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, non vegetarian thing like meal after me uh, in front of me i'll eat it and even if you like give uh, like uh, like tell me one day that uh, like today or uh, like after like for a month you won't get uh, any non vegetarian meal you will have to like uh, eat vegetarian meal and um, i'll be like okay like it's no no big deal like i won't like go mad like no i need uh, like meat i have to eat uh, like chicken and like you know stuff like that so uh, i won't be like that so this is more like that you know uh, legoshi is kind of training to uh, attain that position like he can make do with uh, anything like he won't get mad when he comes in front of uh, uh, like a meat or like a uh, like a non vegetarian thing so he is just controlling his instincts so that he can like reach that level and after that he can like if he wants to he can consume meat but he won't get like you know mad and like start like breathing heavily and like slobbering and every uh, like <coughs> and like get uncontrollable in front of meat he just wants to overcome it he wants to overcome his instincts he wants to become uh, like he wants to be able to stop himself from getting like uncontrollable in front of uh like meat so like he's just doing it for that this is like a train and after he reaches that stage he can do whatever he want to but he will be able to control himself like because uh, the way he is now like if, for example if he is extremely hungry huh, like if let's just let's just say he was kidnapped and another like uh, let's see the, let's, let's just say that haru was also kidnapped and he alongside haru was he was also kidnapped now they are starving hmm for you know uh, five or six days and if by some means like uh, legoshi comes in front of haru um, and he won't be able to control himself he will kill haru at that moment because of his instincts his carnivorous instincts he, like he doesn't want that to happen that's why he's doing this he's doing this to like control himself to uh, attain the position of uh, like you know uh, even if he's like starving for uh, five or six days Uh, even if he comes in front of a uh, herbivore he will not become like this uncontrollable madman and like attack him or her he will be able to control himself like this is the reason he is doing it at least that's what i think i'm not sure if there is some some other kind of you know reason behind this or he really is going uh, like a vegetarian or something i'm not sure but i think this is the reason why he is uh, stopping himself from eating meat and like later on he like you know after the training kind of like went uh, like was uh, had ended and uh, there was this whole thing with uh, pina uh, like pina kind of like asking him to like yeah just eat me and as like he always does kind of messes around with people and then like uh, legos kind of like got mad at him and said that let's just go to the cafeteria i'm hungry and i want to eat vegetables i think that's also the reason like you know if he starts eating meat now in the cafeteria like uh, his training won't mean a thing so that's why like he is abstaining himself from consuming it and i'm i'm not sure if he like plans to uh, continue this you know not eating uh, meat and just eating like vegetables and these like uh, vegetarian things i'm not sure if he wants to continue that even after the train and training ends and he's able to control himself i'm still not sure about that if he does then like uh then he does but i i'm not sure like he might even revert back because this is just so that he can control his instincts now i'm not sure about that like we'll just see like what he uh, like actually does later on <clears throat> uh yeah that uh, like that was that and then there's this as i said like whole thing with pina and his name was pina wasn't it yeah and oh and another th like you know fascinating thing that he said like when he said that uh, you know like why does people always like go for one you know like like what why does it like it doesn't matter if like you have two or three uh, people you uh, love and uh, like that's just like being true to yourself now 
<laughs> Excuse me. At that moment, I thought that, no, the way he's saying this is kind of selfish, you know? Like, he just wants everything, f like, for himself. And he is, like, uh, like, you know, like, selfishly, like, saying this. But then his next words kind of changed my mind. And then he says that I also expect that from the others as well. Now, so, like, that single word kind of, like, negates the whole selfish thing that I said before. Because obviously, selfish person always wants something for himself. But he, he, like, he wants everything for himself. He wants to, like, uh, like follow his instincts, which obviously, Ligoshi doesn't want to do now. Um, so this, and that's also, like, gives a con contrast between them. And, and then, uh, like, he, yeah, as I was saying, like, he, he, like, wants to go along with his instincts. And he also expects others to do the same, too. So... This is not selfish. This is definitely not selfish. He is just like that. He wants, you know, uh, people to be free, like to be like do everything uh, based on their instincts. That's why he always always said in fr first episode, he also kind of like said that, like, uh, like I expect uh, like everyone to like, uh, like uh, in this episode, he also said that I won't like say anything even if you eat me now. So because that's your instinct. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, I won't care. So he's that he's that kind of guy. So okay, and I don't know. I kind of at the, at the beginning uh, when he was introduced, I kind of thought maybe he is going to like uh, make some problems for Ligoshi or like mess with him or something. But he seems like a pretty uh, like decent uh, sheep. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a pretty de pretty decent sheep, and uh, like I don't know, but. I think he'll be fine like uh, maybe he he will become you know one of the best friends of Ligoshi who knows <laughs> uh yeah so let's just see mm -hmm. like it seems as if he really likes Ligoshi and he like enjoys his company so yeah maybe something like that that will happen you know they're like best buds <laughs> oh boy uh okay that okay that that after that like we get this like small section with Luis and his dad and i kind of said this before but i'm still not sure what his dad's actual thought process is is he really like doing this on uh did this on a business perspective or he really like loves uh louis as a child like as his own child i think it's the latter one but i'm not sure this is just a guess at least uh like that's just what i think i might be wrong but <clears throat> louis obviously him being uh kind of like having a rough past rough childhood he doesn't like you know uh, trust anybody and has this kind of a thing uh, a complex and he wants to be like you know rough and tough and wants to stand up for himself but he is also like scared at the same time so like Louis is like this kind of a duality you know like he wants to do one thing he like tries to like uh, like wear a mask in like in his face but he, inside he is always the opposite so I think he like he needs to like conquer this otherwise he won't be able to become strong at all like he still has this thing you know where he like uh, tries to act tough but he is kind of uh, like does not want uh, like he's kind of scared in the like uh, inside so he needs to like conquer, conquer this and then he will really be like you know a really like amazing cool guy <laughs> cool dear and yeah and another thing that i am really liking uh, two things that i'm really liking this season is the increase in the animation quality like i really love it like um like i'm guessing this is still cgi isn't it like the animation style yeah this is still cgi but it doesn't even feel like cgi maybe i got accustomed to like seeing uh, it on something like that but it, it feels so natural nowadays like you know uh, in season one, it was still like it was a lot natural as well. But it's still like uh, like like after seeing it, like we can say that yeah, that this was CGI. But I don't know. Is like this season two changed changed somehow? So like I, I'm really not noticing the CGI any or anything like that. Uh, they became so good, I think, uh, in like doing it. So like like that's amazing. Like hats off to that. Like I'm really enjoying the style they're doing it, and it's kind of unique, and I really like it. Mm, okay that and uh, another thing that i really like liking this season is you know they d d does it sometimes 
break the screen in two parts there's like two two perspectives you know one person is like standing in front of you the person who's talking with he with and the other person is like you know in this episode um uh, who was that um lewis and uh, juno like standing in front of each other and we can kind of like you know see both of their uh, expressions at the same time like how like Luis is like talking smiling and how like at that time at that moment how Haru is like uh like expressing herself at that moment like uh, uh you know like uh, that was really good that they like I've seen this like they are doing this uh quite a few times in this season uh I'm not sure if they did it in the previous season I cannot remember but this season is like yeah like that's a really good thing that they're doing like it's like it lets us see like how both of them are like expressing themselves the expressions that we see on the face and yeah like that's another thing that i really like this season <laughs> all right so yeah guys and that was this episode uh this was episode number um 17 of beastars season 2 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out. So, yeah guys. So, I'll be back with another Beastars episode next week. Same time. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.